Okay, I'd like to, is this thing working? I'd like to call our meeting to order. Uh, Town of Southington Board of Finance meeting today is May 10th, 2023 at 7 p.m. and we'll uh, stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Okay, we'll do a roll call. Mr. Lebenek. Here. Mr. Pocock Jr. Here. Mr. Bodwin. Here. Mr. Morrison. He is not here, but he will dial in for a portion of the meeting. Okay. And uh, well, Mrs. Zoni? Yes. And Chair Larry. Here. Okay. I'll call him now and then we'll Hi, Tony. It's uh, Board of Finance. You're, you're in the okay. public meeting, okay? Okay. Hi, Joe. Thanks very much. Appreciate it. I want to make sure you could pick it up. Yeah, yeah. Um, I got the microphone yeah. down here, close I'm, to the phone. Yeah, I'm in Stamford Station, so... Okay. <laughs> I've been there a lot. I could describe it to you. Okay. Um, <laughs> anyway, we're, gonna, we're just getting started with the meeting, so our first order of business is to approve the minutes of our April 12, 2023 meeting along with the executive session Minute. component of the minutes. Mm -hmm. So moved. We have a motion. Do we have a I'll second? second? I'll second. Motion and a second. Any, any discussion or corrections? I'll have to abstain on this, John, because I wasn't there last okay. time. Okay. Yeah. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Abstain? Yes. Abstain. One? Two. Yes. Two. Two abstains. All One. right. It carries 4-0. Four, four two. Thank you. Okay. The next one is to adopt the mill rate. For the 2023-2024 Town Council Adopted Budget, that mill rate that is before us from the Finance Director is a mill rate of 30.36. Is that correct, Jim? I just want to make sure we get it right. That's correct, Mr. Chairman. Based you also on. have in front of you just the two summary sheets that will be in the uh, the budget book once it's uh, completed. So just to show you, the, the only changes that were made by the council have no effect uh, on the mill rate at all. And we, what we know is council removed the salt storage shed for 487500 that was going to be paid for from fund balance. So therefore, the use of fund balance went down in the same amount, having no effect on the budget. That's correct. So we'll, we'll have... We'll, Retain the cash and not have the shed, in short. This year. This year. Uh, any questions at all on this? Uh? Yes, the per actual percentage of, mil of increase. I think it's 4.22. It's on that second, second page. Two, if you want to look at it, it's 4.22 all the way 4. down. 4.22. Thank you. Okay, we'll do a uh, roll call. Need a motion for. Oh, need a motion. I'm sorry. We need a motion. So you want to make? A yeah, motion? I'll make a motion to uh, set the mill rate at thirty point three six for the twenty three twenty four fiscal year. Okay, we have a motion. I'll second it. We have a motion and a second to set the mill rate at thirty point three six for the twenty three twenty four fiscal year. Uh, any discussion? Okay, we'll go to a roll call vote. Mr. Lebenek. Yes. Mr. Pocock, Jr. Yes. Mr. Bedoin. Uh, no. Oh, and I just, I should have. I voted no for the budget. And the reason I voted no is because for the last four years, or, well, we, we wanted to slowly increase taxes over the last four years. Sticker shock for this one year. Town, the Republicans on the town council for the last three years cut our budget. And I think last four years. Taking responsibility for a major increase. Not the right way to do our budget. Okay, that's a no. That's a no. Next. 
Okay, very good. Uh, Mr. Morrison. Mr. Morrison. Yes. Yes. Mrs. Zoni. No. And Chairman Larry. Yes. The yeses have it, four to two. Okay, four to two, mill rate 30.36. Okay, Tony, I think we're all set. Okay, thank you very much. All right, thank you, Tony. Thank you, Tony. It's hard to hear here. Okay. Okay. Appreciate it. Bye. Thanks, guys. We'll see you. In a minute, if you could, if you could do the time he came on telephonically and the time he went off telephonically. Came on at 7.03, off at 7.06. Okay, that's done. Uh, review the 6.30-2022 uh, audit, audit um, report with CLA audit partner Leslie. Leslie. Yeah, gentlemen right. uh, and ladies, uh, in front of you I did... Uh, some of you wanted this printed out uh, so you didn't waste your own toner at home. So there is a presentation of what Leslie's going to provide. Um, these are her slides as well as she goes through them. So, um, again, just uh, for, your, for your knowledge, in case you forgot, this is Leslie Zoll. Uh, Leslie's the partner at Clifton Larson Allen, uh, which goes by CLA. CLA and Bloom Shapiro uh, merged and or buy, bought out. I, I They've been our auditors for a while here, and, uh, so she's going to present the 22 audit. And uh, if there's any questions, uh, I'm, I'm sure she'll try to answer them. So, Leslie, fire Thank away. You. Mike, get, grab the, get her the microphone. Yes, absolutely. Mike, right away. I thought we had another one down there. No. Thank you for we having four over too there. many. They, yeah, too many found their way over there. It's fine if Jim doesn't have one. It's okay. Thank you for having me tonight. So my agenda this evening is going to just talk about what our engagement entails, um, high-level summary of the audit results, some financial statement highlights. I'm going to go over the state and federal single audits, some required communication, and some fun upcoming GASBs. So in terms of our engagement, we are um, expressing an opinion on whether the basic financial statements are presented in accordance with GAAP. It's management's responsibility to prepare those financial statements. We also express an in relation to opinion on the schedule of expenditures of federal awards and state financial assistance. We express an opinion on compliance related to major state and federal programs. We do not opine on internal control, but we are required to communicate any significant deficiencies or material weaknesses that we might find during the course of our audit. Um, we also um, are required to communicate any significant deficiencies or material weaknesses as it relates to state and federal major programs that we might test throughout the course of our audit. Um, in terms of audit results, um, you have a clean opinion all across the board, which is good. Financial <coughs> statements, you received an unmodified opinion. That's what you'd want to receive each and every year. There's no compliance findings over the financial statements as a whole. The state single audit, the same unmodified opinion on the state programs, no issues noted in internal control, same for the federal. Clean audit. Um, if you have your packets and you want to look through them, I'm starting on slide 9, page 9 of the handout. I just want to briefly talk about um, financial highlights. This particular um, government-wide statement on slide 9 is part of the management's discussion and analysis. It's on the full accrual basis of accounting, so it includes all of your funds um, with the except, actually all of your funds, um, governmental activities as well as the business type activities. Total net position for the year is 215 million. That's a decrease of 1.7 million from last year. Um, the governmental activities had a decrease of 395,000, and your business type had a decrease of 1.3 million. 
next slide on page 10 um, is on the modified basis of accrual. So this does not include all your long-term assets and long-term liabilities. And each column on this schedule, which is exhibit three of your ACFR, is a major program. So we opine on each of those columns. Your general fund fund balance is 34.6 million. That's up 3.7 million from last year. Unassigned is 28.2. Your capital projects has a negative unassigned fund balance of 10.7 million. That's down 7.9 million. And that's typical depending on when you go to bond. You usually expend the money first before you bond. Your emergency management fund is most of your ARPA funding there. You spent 2 million in ARPA funding in 22. You have about $4.1 million. Debt service. Fund balance is 9.4 million. That's down 1.3 million from last year. And then that non-major governmental fund are all your smaller non-major um, governmental funds together combined. Um, total fund balance is 7.3 million and that's up one. On the next slide, slide 11 this is um, your sewer enterprise fund and internal service fund total net position of your sewer enterprise fund as of 630-22 is 95.1 million that's down 1.3 million from last year and internal service fund net position is 8.3 that's down 3.5 million from last year and just to interject, the internal service fund, that's our self-insurance health fund, gents and ladies. Thank you. Thanks, Mark. In terms of just um, metrics that you might want to look at, property tax collections are still very high at 99.02%. Unassigned fund balance in the general fund is 16.1% of total revenues. That's an increase of 1.1 from last year. Um, your MERS pension liability is 38 million. OPEB liability is 34 point. Although we did not have any significant deficiencies or material weaknesses, we do um, we do like to communicate any things that we might see as best practice or some improvements that might not rise to that level of a finding. We usually do that via a management letter. Um, this year, the management letter, um, there's just one comment I believe was um, repeated from last year that the town and board of ed should add some of those smaller governmental funds to the financial management. Which we have started. So right now these are managed in Excel or outside of? Exactly. Okay. Just so we know, a scholarship fund, student activity fund, um, police auction fund, so. They're, they're, they're funds that oh. most of them are w what you would be calling those trust funds too, like the Adam Lewis Fund and the Julia Bradley Fund that have very, very few transactions. Frankly, some of them don't have any during the year. So, um, but we are in the, uh, uh, we have put one on already. We're in the process of putting another couple. I don't know if we're going to get them all by the time, you know, the 630-2023 year is, is complete, but we would have made substantial progress and have a plan to get everything on the system. Okay. Does anyone have any questions on the financial system? Federal awards expended for 630-22, 4 million. The ESSER grant, the ARPA grant, emergency connectivity, and highway planning. Of those four programs, you received an unmodified opinion on the compliance requirements and no internal control or compliance. On the state side, for expenditures, the town of Southington spent $29.4 million on state funds. Major programs that were tested during the audit was the Vocational Agriculture Grant, Town Aid Road, Brownfield Remediation, and Municipal Grants and Aid. Of those four programs, 
We received an unmodified opinion and no compliance or internal compliance. On to some required communications. We did adopt, the town did adopt GASB 87 this past year. So in the financial statements, you will see a right to use asset and a related lease liability on the books um, for those leases in accordance with that new standard. In terms of significant estimates within the financial statements, we have useful lives of your capital assets. If those useful lives change, the depreciation changes, therefore your value of assets. Um, net pension liability and total OPEB liability are based on actuarial assumptions. If those assumptions change, those liabilities change as well. Um, incurred but not reported claims, this is related to your internal service fund. Um, that's usually estimated based on historical data um, from a number of years. And then um, the last significant estimate has to do with GASB 87 and the incremental borrowing rate under those leases. If that, um, that rate you would change, the liability would also change. And what do you do in your test work regarding IBNR and uh, these use of assumptions? Usually IBNR is, um, reviewed by a third party, they usually calculate that. So okay. we review that calculation. We also review the actuarial reports to make sure they're reasonable. Um, we do do testing over capital assets and in terms of the borrowing rate, um, the borrowing rate should be reasonable based on the municipalities within the Connecticut and within the state of Connecticut. Um, and so we also look at that to make sure it's reasonable across the board. And for useful life, asset life, do you challenge that, do anything with that, assess it? We look at it typically. Yep. There's, um, it's pretty standard across the board for most um, municipalities. So as long as we don't see anything off, um, it's usually fine. Okay. Um, we didn't receive any disagreements with management. I, I, I just want to commend the finance office when you change finance directors. It's, you know, typically very hard, but um, Amelia stayed on and Christina did a fabulous job. And, um, you know, I think the transition went very well, considering um, the change in finance directors. So um, felt like the, the finance, you know, the finance department did a great job. Um, as far as I know, they didn't shop around for opinions at all. Um, there was no difficulties um, encountered during the audit, no uncorrected misstatements, and no independence issues. He doesn't come in often, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> um, does anybody have any other questions on that before I move on to the Gatsby's? No, I have a question. Sure. You should ask for when it comes to your internal controls, how do you perform your by department? Do you select certain controls? Are you town wide? So we look at town wide. Well, we actually, we actually look at control environments. So we look at the board of that separately from the town, um, and we look at risk based. We do a risk based approach. So we look at significant audit areas within the financial statements, and then what we feel is riskier of those, of those significant audit areas, we do testing regarding that. So is that by department? Um, How, you know, like. It's overall, so we would be looking at, for example, the cash process for the whole town. Okay. Um, and what the controls are for the receipt of cash and the disbursements of cash. So it, it would include all of the departments, but we do it globally as a yeah. as a process. And, and you mentioned you had no. Um, we do not at this time that we felt warranted written notification. Um, town is. And also, too, I mean, the Governmental Accounting Standards Board, the GASB, they're in, like, high operation mode. I think they they sort of went a little hibernation during the COVID couple of years, and they're just issuing statement after, and I'm sure Leslie will bear statement after statement after statement that we missed. 
So I, I, I don't know. It's always a big push to make sure we're complying because if, if you don't institute and report in your in your audit report uh, what the GASB is saying, then that unmodified opinion becomes a modified right. opinion. You don't. So sometimes the professional groups, when it comes to best practices, Kevin, mm -hmm. they they kind of put that just a wee bit on the back burner. Um, not that you know, not that it's not important. It certainly is, and there are some best practices in place to begin with uh, for for our industry. But right now, I think there's a lot of catch up. And I, these guys do 55 towns or 60 towns in Connecticut. So I, uh, but that's that, that. We're always sort of like trying to chase the Gasby lately, and it's just been uh, been difficult. Yeah, but we're still required under AICPA. You ever called upon as a firm to do an internal control? Have you done those for other municipalities? We have. Okay. That's obviously well over the. Right. right. That would be a separate, a separate audit, a separate uh, engagement. And then we'll dig in further, obviously, into the more of the. So if you um, want, you know, some books to read to get you to sleep at <laughs> night, there's there's tons of things that the Gatsby's put out lately for you guys to read. Um, I think 87 was a pretty hefty lift for all of our municipalities. I think that um, this next year we've gotten no reprieve. Gatsby 96 is going to be just as heavy of a lift, more so I think for Board of Educations than towns this time. Um, 96 is on subscription based technology arrangements so your any software subscriptions that you may have are going to now be um, valued and put on the balance sheet similar to 87 leases um, I and then the next two years are, are not as bad in 24 there's really not a lot um, as far as new standards that would affect the financial statements, but in 25, statement 101, yes, we're into the 100s now. Um, 101 on compensated absences may be a heavier lift for some municipalities because the liability is going to be treated a little bit differently. But other than that, I haven't that's, even read 101 yet. So. That's my presentation. Does anyone have any other questions? Well, I see the other two here for the um, for the federal federal programs, the federal grants. Looking through them before. Good for everyone to look at them. There's, they're interesting. Tells you where we got. Like for example, just um, the one for the state of Connecticut from the Department of Education. Uh, one million four Department of Social Services sixty four thousand uh, library grant ten thousand children and families Department of Children and Families thirty seven thousand and Department of Energy and Environmental Protection nine hundred forty one thousand Department of Transportation eight hundred fifteen it's just good to see all the all the grants that do come in and uh, you know the education side I'm not going to read every one of them but the first one is the school lunch the, the nutrition program at um, 3.4 million for the year. So, you know, it's a lot of federal grants coming in that we should just be mindful of. But they're here. We All right. You good? Everybody good? Thank, Thank you, you, Leslie. Thanks, Leslie. Mm -hmm. We have a bigger agenda. Does any, everybody mind if we, if we um, put to the end the financial assessment of the current year, the subcommittee's reports, and got on with the agenda? We'll just do uh, public communications and get on with the agenda, then come back to it as we could decide to come back to it as time permits or table it? That's fine. Yeah. Favor with that? Sure. Aye. Yeah. Okay. So we will, that makes us move right now to uh, public communications. Anybody from the public like to communicate? No?
Any board communications, member to member communications? Yeah, I just want to yeah. congratulate Ed Polka for being inducted into the high school, Southern High School Wall of Honor. Is that the correct one? 1978. <laughs> Graduated 1978. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have to mention John with the Unico. Yeah, too. I was going to say, and yeah, John Leary for being the Unico Person of the Year. Gold medal. Person Gold of the Year. Medal. <laughs> with a dinner next week. With a dinner next week. Next week. Oh, where's, no, that? It's, where's that being held? Aquaturf. 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 Ooh, nice. Look that. Nice. Good. Congrats. It was nice to see Ed in the paper holding your plaque and getting your plaque up on the wall for your years of service to the town in so many ways, right? As a, as a police officer, police to, lieutenant. Uh, yeah, I just... Even mowing yeah, the fields at the high school? Yeah. <laughs> was out you, the you, had, you had to have Jay Fontana. And Jay, and From mowing, mowing the lawns in town to be in every aspect of a police officer, <laughs> right? Every department, every division, being the boss, being the lieutenant, you know, being on all these different boards and building committees, it's a long, beautiful history to have uh, yeah. memorialized in the high school. Don't stop and now, Ed. Keep having going. the patience to drive the going. calendar house bus. And drive the calendar house bus. <laughs> that's yeah. the most How important we forget? Well, that's, that, that takes a, the most patience of all. Yeah. I, I went from driving a 55 motor, uh, 55 motor coach <laughs> to a 16 passenger. That was Isn't well, that where you find out what's going on in town? Well, well, well <laughs> just keep your ears open. Right, wrong, or indifferent, <laughs> he finds it out. It's all good. It's all good. He, ha he has to get him from the Callan House bus. He can't get him at the barber shop. <laughs> yeah, true. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that yeah. one. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. I love you, Jim. Okay. Um, <laughs> so we have the, admin uh, the consent agenda. I'd like to read everything in, and then we just approve it at once just to save some time, if everybody's okay with that. And just reminder to anybody watching, the consent agenda are, are generally cases where the town has received money, and all we're doing is saying transfer it to the line in the department, in the line item, in the account, where it could be spent. But this is money already received. Uh, you almost can't say no on it's already here. So it's just a matter of it's just administrative business. So number one, appropriation $2,500 capital projects fund rail to trail donations. Uh, number two, in many parts, Special Revenue Fund Veterans Donations, $80. Animal Control Program Services, $26. Youth Services, Steps. Number 3A, Appropriation 19,000 Library Building Donations. 3B, Appropriation 19,000 Library Building Donations. Uh, 4, uh, Appropriation 13,000 General Fund Fire Department Building Maintenance. Appropriation $1,175. General Fund Fire Department Contracted Services. Number five, appropriation $5,000, Special Revenue Fund Neglected Cemetery Program Services. Number six, appropriation $150, Special Revenue Fund for Canine Program Supplies. Uh, number seven, $9,472 for Police Vehicle Maintenance. And appropriation number eight, um, $5,453, the General Fund Police Department Overtime, and appropriation $4,266, General Fund Police Department Program Supplies. We have a motion to? Motion to approve all of the above consent. I'll second it. Motion to second any discussion. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain. Motion carries 5-0. Five, five Thank you. Now, Got a lot. Hmm. Interdepartment transfers. 29,000 non-legal professional services. Moved. We have a motion. Second. Motion is second. Any discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Motion carries 5-0. Next one. Department transfer 1,200 finance department office supplies. Make so a motion to approve that. Motion to approve. Second by Mr. Pocock. Any discussion? 
All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Uh, Interdepartment transfer, 29000 Finance Department regular wages. So moved. We have a motion. Second. Oops. Motion and a second. Um, any discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Next one, 33540 Capital Projects, um, the Police Community Training Room. Motion to approve. Second. Motion to approve. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Um, they all carry. Number five, department transfer, 10,000 even, fire department utilities. So moved. Second. Motion to second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Carries. Number six, interdepartmental transfer, 1,500, fire hydrant rental. Make a motion to approve that. Second it. <laughs> motion to second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Number seven in two parts. Department transfer 18,000 library books and multimedia and 10,000 library building maintenance. So moved. Second. Motion to second. Any discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Number eight. Department transfer 500 library dues and conferences. I don't know. So moved. Second. Motion to second. Any uh, discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Okay. Uh, department transfers in two parts: four thousand two hundred nine Barnes Museum building maintenance, one thousand Barnes Museum building maintenance. Make a motion to approve. Motion to approve. Do we have a second? Second. second. Either one. Second. Uh, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 <coughs> Opposed? That carries. Number 10, uh, department transfer again, 5,500 police vehicle maintenance. So moved. Second. Motion and a second. Uh, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 If I'm going too fast, anybody wants to discuss, just interrupt the process here. Um, department transfers, this is, this is multi-line. 9,000 bulky waste overtime, 21,000 highway parks overtime, 1,050 uh, highway on call pay, $280 radio system lease, 21,000 ground maintenance, 7,850 gasoline, 14,000 street light equipment maintenance, 2,840 um, sewer fund, sewer admin regular wages. Making a motion. Second. Motion and a second. Any discussion? Yes, oh, I'd just oh, like to make sure that everyone knows, uh, remind you that if you see a street light that's out, please go online to the highway department. There's a form there. It's really quick and easy to report it. You um, enter the number that's on the utility pole where the light is out. Um, you kind of have to pull over with your car to see that number. You can also call the highway department and let them know where it is specifically, and then somebody there can find the number for you if you can't stop safely. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. I just reported, too. There's an Eversource site, too. we got to make sure you put it in the town site. Yes. Because sometimes you get redirected to Eversource, and then Eversource comes back and tells you it's not their light. Right. So good, good point. So um, Department transfer, $685, animal control fund. Oh, no, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't vote on these. Yeah. Uh, on number 11, we have to take a vote. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Make sure. Mm -hmm. We took two votes. <laughs> number, number 12, department transfer, $685, animal control fund program supplies. So moved. Second. Motion and a second. Discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Department transfer, $500, animal control fund, vet veterinary services. Second. Motion approved. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? A motion number 13 carries. Appropriation, 27600 ARPA grant. Oh, we have to do the roll call. Yeah, now we just, uh, yeah. let's also explain a little bit more for the record. And yep. When this is audited 10 years from now, and we need it for the record. Uh, this is for MS4, which is approved both by the Board of Finance and the Town Council with the understanding that we come each time individually to get these reapproved. MS4 is for uh, uh, surface water. Second. 
We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? We'll do a roll call vote. Mr. Bedoin. Yes. Mr. Morrison is not with not us here. anymore. Mrs. Zoni. Yes. Mr. Labeniak. Yes. Mr. Polcock Jr. Yes. <laughs> Chairman Lear. Yes. For the record, he's still with us. He's just not at the meeting. <laughs> he's with us. <laughs> he's he's not here. And for the, it, it, he's for not the, present for the record, to vote. Yes. <laughs> for the record, it's also a bit. I'm not even going there. I realize. Yeah. I realize. And I, 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 yeah. I, I realize. I realize the name right. I'm like. I end up on the end of the list. I've been on the front of the list. All yeah. I realized I off Tony by mistake. Yeah. <laughs> You, anyway. don't have to, you don't have okay. to put that in the minutes. You are from TV. Waterbury, right, Jim? Uh, huh? You're from Waterbury, right? Yeah, watch yourself, you McGoin. <laughs> Let's move on. Let's move on. <laughs> uh, number 15, a department transfer $56,412, police overtime. So moved. Second. <laughs> Motion to second. Any discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. That carries. Number 16, department transfer $600. Planning and zoning advertising. So moved. Second. Motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Number 17, department transfer is $8,300. Recreation department, temporary seasonal wages, uh, $5,300. Recreation department, temporary seasonal wages. Those are the two. That's it. Make a motion to approve those two uh, transfers. Second. Motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Okay. Aye. We're getting we're getting, getting there. Uh, town manager's memos continue. Number eighteen. Interdepartment transfers five hundred twenty three thousand three hundred fifty. What? Say again? I got the wrong one? The revised budget. There's a revised one right Okay, now. hold on, hold on here. All right, interdepartment transfers, 523,350, capital budget, the cash funding of the 2324 CIP projects, and then an appropriation for 954. No, five, that's the, re the, that's the, revised, the revised one. Was I oh, oh, we'll go back. Thank you. Thank, thank you, sorry, Mr. sorry for the record, that okay. is my fault. Not <laughs> one more time. I was, okay. I was on John's side on that transaction. Number 18. Interdepartmental transfers, 523,350, capital budget, the cash funding for the 2324 CIP projects, and an appropriation for $858,369 for capital budget, the cash funding for the 2324 CIP projects. This needs a little explanation, obviously, for the, for the public. Um, we, we have a uh, capital budget, which was approved Monday night by the town council. Uh, part of that funding for that is what's called budget reallocation, which is monies from this fiscal year, which will be used uh, to purchase things for in the capital budget. Um, there were two modifications made, one off of this. One was the reduction of 66200 for electrical vehicle charging, which is no longer part of this year's um, capital budget, and also $30,000 off the town-wide vehicle replacement, which is not part of that. So that's why it's a little modification from my budget. Okay. And your budget. Yeah. And yours. So if you saw that original one that I sent out to you folks Friday with the packet and compared it to the one I left in front of you tonight, that, ex that, that shows the differences that the town manager showed it just right. mentioned for the record. Mm -hmm. Make a motion to approve. Second. Motion to approve. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Carries 5-0. The last one's appropriation for 632,017 for the Board of Ed Operations. We got the note from Jennifer just asking for the money back from building rentals and everything else. Motion to approve. The in the bank. Money in the uh, bank. I'll second that. Motion and a second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Okay. Um, now I guess we could revisit going back to assessing the current state of the town. I just want to make sure we got the motions out of the way. So how we doing? As we saw we did a lot of transfers, and maybe we just want a status for how we are on revenue. Yes, um, the I got the note here, right here. Yeah, we should all have one in front of us. 
Yes, the significant variances through the end of April 2023 uh, for tonight's meeting. Uh, you'll see the uh, the difference on Roman numeral 7, item 1 in your packet. Uh, and it's the usual four or five items. Uh, and what we're, what we're showing probably uh, what we're anticipating through the end of this fiscal year. Question. The uh, interest income, uh, we use the 800000 of that 1.4, so it's not 1.4 anymore. Correct. With your vote tonight, that 1.4 is reduced we'll by 800000 800, right. And I didn't want to presume a vote, so I left it at no, 1.4. You, you acted correctly. So that, that number is now, as of this moment, down, down to $850,000. Which will, which will be reflected in your packet when that report gets to you for the, your next month's meeting, June 12th. Or I think we realize now we're getting close to the end of the fiscal year. Right? Yep. It's almost here. Yeah. Here we are talking about the audit from last fiscal yeah, year. I know. And we're, we're six weeks away or so from the end of our fiscal year. Okay, Jim. Any, any discussions on revenues and expenses? Any questions? Okay, we'll go into the uh, subcommittee reports. Mr. Morrison's not here. We'll skip sewer. We'll go to public works. Mr. Pocock, Mrs. Zoni. Yes. Um, we had just a few little things. At the transfer station, there's a major concern regarding what's called mixed loads. Um, some people are bringing in um, loads that um, are being checked at the entrance, and the checking is to determine which bin the loads go into. If you have, um, for instance, cabinetry and brush, you're going to be directed to two different places, one place to dump off your brush, another place to dump off your cabinetry. If you then have some other kind of building materials or old chairs, you'll be directed to go to another place in addition. So that happens at the entry. However, some people are then not following the directions and are dumping everything in the same bin. We then have to pay extra money when that happens. So it's very important that everybody follow the directions that you're given when you enter and dump the materials in the appropriate bin. There's not always enough staff to guard you there and make sure that you're following the directions. It's up to us to do it. But we can't afford as a community to keep offering the services at no charge and have the rules not followed because it's going to cost us more money. So please follow the directions that you're given at the entrance to the transfer station to save us all additional money. Another thing was that um, the uh, trail to Lazy Lane from Lazy Lane to Elk Aircraft Road um, came in with bids that were actually under the estimate. So the award of the bid has actually uh, been tabled a little bit, but it should come in soon. So that part of the trail will, will get into progress soon. The Plantsville safety um, improvements um, were, came in a little bit over what was available, so the state of Connecticut had to get, uh, we had to petition the state for additional funding. That additional funding was approved, so those things are now in the state DOT for approval, and that should begin sometime in the near future as well. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Mr. Polk, open space. Uh, more. Just a little bit more. The okay. uh, water department is going to um, be working... Town Hall. Um, it will be open over here in Academy to Park, but it will be closed farther up, so you may have to turn around either, preferably not a K turn, you can go in the, the uh, all the way housing and come back out. That's going to take place over the next 60. Anything on open space, yeah. Mr. Booker? You, you missed something. Like <laughs> Thanks. Open space, we didn't have a meeting. It was canceled. Okay. Everything status quo. Self insurance, Mr. Lebenik, Mr. Bedoin. We have nothing new to report from our last meeting. Every yeah, schedule the week after. Oh, the week after. We were supposed to have it uh, originally scheduled for next Wednesday. Uh, there's a lack of quorum that's been communicated to me so we're trying to get people uh, to respond to my email for 525 uh, which will be Wednesday to 20 I'm sorry Wednesday 24th. the 24th. 24th yeah the 24th so um, if you haven't responded and you're a member of that committee please respond Mr. Uh, Joe I, I've got yours 
I, I there's a, the guy next to you. Uh, All right, I'll be there. How's that? But Dwayne, I don't have his <laughs> response. <laughs> Get in writing. Thank you, Mr. Bows. He called you Mr. Joe because he was afraid of doing the last name. <laughs> okay. Um, investment committee. Anything on Nothing investments? Not, besides not good, uh, Jim. So. We're doing better because interest rates are Are we high, seeing but, that's uh, in one area where positive, interest rates are favors? Bonding is also we're doing, yeah, yeah. doing all right. Yeah, we're doing well. Okay. Doing well. Anything in, from the fire department? No. The only thing is I just checked on their website. They've been. Okay, um, it's 746, do we call for our, well, do one more time, public, anybody, public communications? Mr. Pomeroy, was there anything? Okay. Just want to make sure I want to give the opportunity here. Okay, uh, that's it. Motion so, to adjourn. <laughs> motion to adjourn. 746. Oh, second. Right. Hold on, hold on, Mr. Chairman, hate to, hate to. Uh, we were going to have a little discussion about the uh, next year's audit under any other business considered proper to come before the board. That was under, oh, under the business. Okay, let's yeah. have that. Well. So I think you need probably a motion to, we communicated I, uh, just the other day, John and I. Well, wait, wait, wait. What, uh, what exactly are we doing here? Talking about the audit for the future. The okay, you talking? are you talking about companies you want to talk about? Or po possibly looking? We should go to executive uh, session. Okay, here's my point. Here's my point. If, it, it's, if it's a contractual matter, you may want to think about doing this in executive session. It's a regular meeting, so you only need to put it on the agenda if you so wish for contractual matters. Okay. Uh, let's look for a motion to go into executive session for a contractual matter. I'll, I'll make that motion. I'll second that. Motion is second. Okay, 747, uh, the Board of Finance, uh, town manager, and finance director moving into executive session to talk about contractual matters. <laughs>